This is the highest satanic priestess in all of Hollywood. Michelle Lamy is not just a designer, she is a demon among us. With her disheveled hair and smeared makeup, her dark, deep eyes with no window to the soul. Her skin, marked by henna tattoos, and her golden teeth give her an almost supernatural air, transmitting the darkness she harbors in her being. What she has achieved in the world of fashion transcends the conventional. Her aesthetic is disturbing and senseless, with designs that seem taken from an underworld, something that practically no one would wear. Mixing colors for a dark look and chaotic shapes, each garment tells a story of ancient demons, as she makes them as unique pieces. On several occasions she has admitted to using animal skins that were given as an offering in the forest for her so-called spiritual retreats. The fashion shows she organizes are rituals in themselves, carried out in cemeteries and abandoned places, where inexplicable events are reported. Some attendees have felt disturbing presences, as if what was once human had transformed into something else, something that resides in the shadows. The models that parade are always people so unusual that they do not really seem to be from this planet. It is known from the mouth of Kanye West that when you enter the world of fashion, if you want to rise you must make a pact with Baphomet, and first you must pass through the hands of Lamy. She introduces them to a world where the line between the human and the supernatural is blurred. Some young people, like Billie Eilish, have gone from looking angelic to adopting a macabre and dark style, all under the influence of this enigmatic designer. By wearing Lamy's clothes, these celebrities or models acquire a dark essence, which causes strange sensations and even changes the face of those who wear them. Did you see the petals fall? Well look where they fell. The fashion community is going to hate me for this one. This is Michelle Lamy, and I fell into a deep dark rabbit hole last night, finding out more about her. Michelle was born in the 40s. She is around 80 years old. She's worked as an attorney, a clothing designer, a performer, a producer. She was born in France, but has lived in many places, including New York and Los Angeles. And she's the wife of fashion designer Rick Owens, who is also known as the Lord of Darkness in the fashion community. Michelle actually discovered Rick Owens, and a lot of people credit her for his career. One time, Michelle wore his head as a purse. I don't work in the fashion industry, so there's a lot of things that I probably don't understand, but Michelle is very highly respected among her peers, and many celebrities, like the ones pictured here. Usher, Kim Kardashian, ASAP Rocky, and Kanye West. She has a very distinct style. Every morning, she draws a black line on her forehead, and she says she doesn't really have an explanation for it. She also stains her fingers black. It has been reported online that Michelle got her inspiration from the Emma Zich women who also used to paint on their face. She's also known for having gold-plated teeth, but the rabbit hole that I fell into last night has people convinced that Michelle is a high priestess or witch of some sorts in the Hollywood scene. Now, I'm not saying she is or she isn't, and I simply cannot get into all of the details. The information is out there if you want to look into it, but there's so much mystery surrounding this woman. Like I said, she is highly respected in the fashion and art industries. A lot of people really love her work, and a lot of other people are convinced that she controls a lot of what is going on in Hollywood, and that there's something much more sinister. Take over, Eli, yes, take over. Hi, everyone. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm Dark MAGA. I'm not just MAGA, I'm Dark MAGA. I'm not just MAGA, I'm Dark MAGA. Um, well, first of all, I, I want to say what an honor it is to, to be here. And, uh, you know, the, the, the true test of someone's character is how they behave under fire. And we, we, we had one president who couldn't climb a flight of stairs <laughs> and another who was fist pumping after getting shot. <laughs> fight, fight, fight! Blood coming down the face. Now, America is the home of the brave. They were coming from Africa. They were white as me. I thought they'd be black. And, um, because of something the boy did, I never told what he did. The boy did something very dark, when he was very little. And then one day I asked someone in the circle, Imelda, Joaquin's mother. I asked Imelda, I said, is he the Antichrist? 
13 years old. She didn't even blink. She said no, but he will present the mark. And when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. So, now here we are, 40 years later. Boom, that boy is the star of the world. The boy's name then was El Elyon. It's changed over time. For 40 years later, and I see that boy everywhere, and the world adores him, but he's the king of Babylon. Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahashai, Bashem Rukak Rodash. Double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, where the house of David reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the witches amongst us. And the videos that I played were to show you the vast differences that an industry can have that are still infiltrated by the so-called witches. The first two videos were of that woman, Michelle Lamy, or should I say that witch, Michelle Lamy. Now, if, you, if you're into the music industry or the fashion industry, which the music industry basically delves deeply into, you would have seen this woman. She's in the background, right? And as it show, showed in the video, this is a high priestess of the Luciferian uh, order of, of the uh, nation of Edom. Okay, these are the uh, the witches that Edom uses to perform its magic and, and to push forward its power or its left hand power I should say. Other witches we've seen are witches like Abramovich, Abrama, right? Uh, uh, I forgot her name. But the thing is, is um, you start seeing a lot of these witches in the higher echelons of power. Lady Gaga, she's a, I guess you could call her a, a budding witch, right? She's a, she's, I'm sure she's gonna have a bigger role to play down the line um, as she gets deeper into the, that art, right? When you look at her career from being a, a st starving music artist to now, you know, sitting across from a, a pres president or billionaire, and uh, you know pushing uh, agendas right to people like Elon Musk who you wouldn't think was a witch but when you look into his background and you look at people that are surround him people like his mom for example right she's for the most part she's an Illuminati sex slave uh, or they're basically like breeding women right they, they basically uh, you like when you see those those uh, orgy scenes in those occultic movies where they have models that come in to sleep with the with with the attendants and then a year later after the the, the models or the sex slaves uh, give birth those children are usually sacrificed well in this case here this woman again who when you look into her background she's all tied to the occult society right this is why she uh, <laughs> looks the way she looks right there's even people who make fun of her appearance for being so so evil, right? Tells you Elon Musk's mom looks like she's about to tell you that we are we all must sacrifice to preserve the Zeppelin. That's the last surviving holdout of humanity in the skies above a ravaged earth, and it's a sad fact that you have become dead weight, right? So yeah, so these are these are the real uh, power holders in the world. Okay, and they operate in the background. They operate in the realm which we don't see. Now, some Akim who have managed to, you know, go into the into the uh, lifestyle of the more affluent in the society have seen this, right? These Edomites at the very top, they live very differently and they have very different lives, right? And they're uh, and th these are those people. Okay, these are the people that operate in that society because these are those witches.
okay, the which is described in the Bible. This is Isaiah 23 and 13. Behold, the land of the Chaldeans. Okay, the Chaldeans is another term for witches. Okay, the Chaldeans in the ancient Babylon were the uh, astrologers, the witches of, of Babylon. Okay, that's what the Chaldeans were. It says, Behold, the land of the Chaldeans, this is talking about America, this people was not till the Assyrian founded it for, for, for them that dwell in the wilderness. They set up the towers thereof, they raised up the places thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Now this is ultimately talking about ancient Babylon. But again, this is can also be referring to modern day Babylon the Great, America, right? Because again, the Bible makes it very clear that the uh, that the wicked that it hints at throughout the whole Bible that they are referred to as the Assyrians, right? And they also built the uh, America, right, for the Chaldeans, for the witches, right? And and how do you what, what am I talking about? Well, when you go to the Bible timeline, when you go to the creation. Of America in 1776 which by the way was the same year that the Bavarian Illuminati was created over there in Bavaria by Adam Weishaupt you had Freemasons right which is basically when you understand what Freemasonry is it's the school or the house of rituals that the Gentiles can use to join in on the blessings of the Jewish people and their Kabbalistic uh, magic, okay? That's really what, what Freemasonry is. It's the use of Jewish magic, Kabbalah, right? The Zohar and all that bullshit um, to basically bring forward their power, the left-hand power, which ultimately all goes back to the power of uh, e Egypt, right? This is why the Freemasons have those aprons, why they perform Egyptian rituals, just like when you get into Kabbalah, it's all the same rituals, okay? Now, that being said, like I was mentioning, the Assyrians, right, the, the Americans, they established America, and they were witches, okay? Freemasons are witches, okay? No matter what they tell you, that they're philanthropists, they're, you know, businessmen, no, at the very core, of their of their doctrines these guys are witches so hence they would be the Chaldeans and just and that scripture would apply to modern-day America just like it would to ancient Babylon because again these are the the witches that built up this land and set up its towers right for this this land to be used as a stepping stone to bring forward their new world order agenda, which is America, what America has always been about. It's been used as a tool or the great experiment, right? As it tells you, it says, America was formed with a declaration of independence and engineered by occultist Edomites to help them gain world control. The great experiment, okay? And they refer to it as the, uh, the uh, New Atlantis, right? Or, or the, the New Atlantis project, right? Um, which is what they ultimately are trying to get to, right? Which is basically the pre-Diluvian world, the world that existed before the Great Flood of Noah. So, yeah, this is the land of, of uh, witches. And the reason why I wanted to play that video about Elon Musk is because when you look at that term, dark mega, remember, man, these devils, they speak in riddles, just like, uh, just like the Lord speaks in riddles to, to the world. Okay, they do it too, but they do it in a way to try to trick you, right? So when you look up the term Latin, in Latin, you know, dark maga in Latin, okay, which Latin is basically the tongue of the devil, right? It's, it's a, uh, the language was made by an Edomite called uh, King Latinus. You can read about him in Genesis, right? They call him uh, Duke Lotan, right? But he uh, ultimately moved over to what would eventually be Italy, and, and, and settled there and created a city called uh, Latinum and eventually he was a famous uh, ancient king, right? Where the, uh, well, that created Latin, okay? Now, eventually this language, like they even showed that speaking Latin 
actually changes your DNA. It's crazy, right? And so it's a, it's a it's a witchcraft language, and this is why America, again, a lot of its laws and its courts all are based off of Latin. Now, dark maga, as you, I'm sure you just read, this is what it really means: dark witch in Latin. Okay, because again, when you get into the whole phrase. MAGA, right? What is it MAGA is supposed to be an acronym for? Make America Great Again, right? But what does dark make America great again? What does that mean? It's, it's a non sequitur. It doesn't mean anything, right? It's, 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 a, it's a bullshit phrase, but when you look at it in, in Latin, it makes perfect sense, right? Elon Musk is telling you the truth without telling you the truth, right? This is why... He had that hat, and this is why he was touching it a couple times before he announced it, because it was all it's all planned. These devils have to reveal what they're doing before they do it, so this way they don't uh, they don't reoccur or gain any bad karma, as they say, right? But basically, they believe that you know as long as they tell you what they're doing, and if you don't have anything to say about it, then they're all good. But either way, I came. I just wanted to see, show you this. To show you that these devils, you know, you can't trust them, right? No matter how, you know, sweet their words are, how, you know, amazing they make it sound, how they, they, they swear that they're going to fix it. You just got to vote one last time. And, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna ultimately, you know, promise you the world. But ultimately, it, it's a trap. So this is why, you know, I want to make this video to highlight, you know, these devils in the society. So, you know... Regardless if Elon Musk comes out and gives a, a, a very good reason to vote or, or explains that that this may be the last election. And so, don't believe that devil, man. Remember, this is a devil that didn't create any of the companies he's running, right? And and ultimately, he was given everything that he, he has. And his family comes from a, from a long line of, of higher-ups in society. Right, he's not one of us. Right, he's not one of the uh, middle class people. Okay, he's one of the elites who pretends to be, you know, uh, uh, what are those uh, garage geniuses that, you know, happen to build everything? No, man, these devils they bought all the companies that that he now runs, and they put him as CEO. Okay, there's there's many videos out there if you want to see. What I'm talking about, just type in Elon Musk is exposed and you're going to see uh, all, all this this truth, okay? And why is that? Well, because you see, that man, like his you know, supposed childhood nanny said, there was a, a knowing that he was going to help to bring forward the mark of the beast, right? Which we understand is the Neuralink brain implant. Now, there's also going to be... An RFID implantable chip, which is also going to be the mark of, mark of the beast. But again, Elon Musk is in charge of the uh, the brain implant. Okay, and along with that, they put him in charge of other uh, other aspects of the New World Order society that they're bringing forward, from the satellite system um, that's going to be spying on everybody that the beast system is going to uh, be connected to. That's really what Starlink's about. Don't think it's about. You know, providing some downtrodden, uh, you know, citizens over there in Carolina that got, you know, hit by the hurricane, or or other people who are around the world that need an internet connection. No, it has been set up so that way you cannot go anywhere without being tracked by the mark of the beast system. Okay, and this is why Donald Trump said years ago that they're gonna. You know, complete the biometric ID system, and it's going to be in the land, the air, and the sea, and it's going to work. Number eight, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place, and I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea. It will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. Okay, and well, that's why Elon Musk now is standing by the side of Trump because they are on the same team. Okay, all these devils are on the same team. But you see, Elon Musk and Trump, 
they're playing the roles of the good guy, just like Hitler did before Germany elected him, right? And they're all in the pocket of Amalek, Amalek being the, the true biblical name of the so-called Israelis, right? Because you got to remember, the Edomites, the true rulers of the world, like the lady said, Elon Musk is the king of Babylon. No, he's not the king of Babylon, but he is a king of Babylon, right? And more more accurately, he is a, the an Edomite king of Babylon, just like Trump is an Edomite king of Babylon, just like Bill Gates is an Edomite king of Babylon, right? There are many kings of, of Edom that rule over the, the, the world in their respective fiefdoms, okay? And right now, all of them are all playing together. This is why there's all a concerted effort around the world to bring forward these 15-minute cities with the natural disasters from the, from the you know, from set up fires in Lahaina to these fucking man-made hurricanes that are wiping away well i'm soon i'm sure soon it's going to wipe away tampa and which is one of the uh hallmark cities for the for the new 15 minute cities so again don't believe these dark witches okay we are surrounded by them right and and they are going to uh you know come out full force right out in the open but even though they're going to come out in the open they're not going to tell you they're witches they're going to say that they're dark mega Right? They're going to do all these different presentations and tell you the truth, but not in a way where it's liminal, right? basically in your face. Right? They're going to tell you subliminally. This is Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word of Yahweh spake on against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye amongst the nations and publish and set up a standard, publish, and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days, and in that time, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, their power. So there you go. That is the gist of what's coming, Akim. America, for its wickedness, the land of, of dark witches, the Chaldeans, is going to ultimately be destroyed by the Russians, right? Uh, Gog, Magog, right? And and all of its alliance powers, right? The BRICS nations, China, Iran, all those, all the countries that America thought were, were allies with it are going to destroy America and Israel. And, and, and you can see it now, right? With Israel bombing France's total uh, gas, um, gas, company over in um, I think it was Beirut Lebanon right because France started saying that they weren't going to send weapons to Israel see this is how the the, the beast is going to hate the horde right it's going to they're going to ultimately turn in on each other and they're going to ultimately uh, consume each other before the Lord comes off to, comes and finishes the job and what's going to happen to America Revelations 18 to 23 and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For, for by thy sorceries were the nations deceived. Right? And who else, is, is a, who else can be a, a great merchant but Elon Musk? Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, all these devils, man. All these Edomite kings that run the world. Okay, their time is up. And the Lord is, is uh, revealing them. He is ex exposing Esau for his, his wickedness, right? And what they do. Okay, this is why that witch, Michelle Lamy, she's now being uh, uh, brought out in the public eye. Because the Lord is revealing these devils. He 
he's throwing abominable filth upon them to show the world what they're all about. So either way, I okay, just wanted to highlight this. Hopefully it's edifying. Until the next time, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yashai, Ba'ashem Rukhav Shalom.